thanks everyone for hearing workers' testimonials and thanks for all the supporters who spoke so far. Well, they represent not just themselves, but also thousands of us in the crowd, right? Right. That's why workers and supporters want to spell it out for what it is. 24-hour workday is a crime against humanity. And today, we ask the UN, United Nations, to declare exactly that. The 24-hour workday is a crime against humanity. And the whole international community should call on ending it. Woo! Woo! Now we're going to have Paul read a statement, our statement to the United Nations. Good afternoon, everyone. We're filing a petition to the United Nations to declare the 24-hour workday is a crime against humanity. In New York City, crimes are being committed against tens of thousands of immigrant women of color who are forced to work 24-hour shifts with no breaks for days on end, caring for elderly, ill, and disabled individuals. This has caused permanent damage to their bodies, their health, and their family relations. These women also suffer wage theft every night as employers steal 11 hours of pay for each 24-hour shift, amounting to billions over the years. Nowhere else in the world maintains such a violent system of 24-hour workdays just to further enrich the insurance and home care companies. And despite a fierce three-day sit-in by victims, Speaker Adrian Adams, leader of the New York City Council, dares to continue the violence. Therefore, we petition the United Nations to declare the 24-hour workday as a crime against humanity and denounce Speaker Adams as the face and main perpetrator of the crime. We ask the international communities to condemn and call for an end to the 24-hour workday. Can I hear you shout out? Can I hear a shout? There we go. We are trying to build momentum for this, make this a much bigger issue than has been declared in society and really to ask the UN to step in to declare the 24-hour workday as a crime against humanity. Thank you.